Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what got me into UCLA. And just for context, I'm currently a freshman studying business economics at UCLA. But before we start, I just want to say that this video is not a tutorial on how to get into UCLA. I'm just going to be stating exactly what I did to get into UCLA. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing my personal background, my stats, my extracurriculars, and lastly, my essays. Starting with personal background, I'm from the Bay Area, and I went to a very small charter school. My graduating class had around like 50 to 60 students, so like overall my school had like around, I think, 400 students, because... Yeah, my school, is just, my school is just really small. I don't know why. I'd like to mention that I'm also first generation on my mother's side. On my dad's side, my older sister went to college. So, yeah. Okay, moving into my stats. I took a total of five community college classes, which is also known as zone enrollment. That was because my high school didn't offer AP or IB classes. So, therefore, I had to, like, go out of my way to, like, take these community college classes. So, the five community college classes I took was, the first one was... Uh, Spanish class, and then I took uh, Intro to Business, Intro to Digital Marketing, Calculus, and then Statistics. So all that was like spread out to the courses of my four years throughout high school. I believe I took Spanish over my second year during the summer, and then I took Intro to Business also my second year during the summer. And then my third year, I took Intro to Digital Marketing over in the summer. And then I did Calculus during junior year, during the school year. And then I took statistics during my senior year. So I did study for the ACT test and the SAT test, but I only took the SAT. And I did really terrible because it was my first time taking the SAT test. I got like an 1100, like a little bit over 1100. So it was really bad. But I'm so glad that UCs weren't accepting SAT tests. So I'm not sure if they still are. But at the time when I applied, they weren't. Thank you, UC, UC system. Because I think if I would have, if that was like mandatory, I probably wouldn't have gotten to be honest. Because like 1100 is not really good. All right, now moving into my extracurriculars, which I believe carried me into getting into UCLA. I did a lot of extracurriculars. I did like a lot of internships. And then I also did like a lot of like just like work out of school. And so I'd like to mention my first internship, which is called Champs. It is a health related like internship. It's a three year program that I did starting my sophomore year and all the way up until my senior year. Basically, to sum it up, it was just like shadowing like healthcare professionals, like dentist assistants, like orthopedics, like all, all the all the departments within like the the healthcare field. That's what I did basically, just like shadowing them. Okay, so for my second internship, I interned at a place called My Group Design, and basically it's just a digital marketing and advertising firm that helps other businesses just grow. And so what I did during my time there, so initially I was there for one month in May of 2023, I believe, and so during that first month. I and my other co-interns, I had like three other co-interns, all we had to do was like put together a masterclass live stream for aspiring entrepreneurs, like aspiring young entrepreneurs. So what we did was we created like a blueprint so that students can like have the resources and then we also had like mentors come on to speak. Yeah, that's what we did there for that first month. And then alone, I went back to intern there the whole year of my senior year. So I want to say I started around September of 2023 and then I ended uh, like May of 2024. That time I was there. I was strictly just doing marketing and like advertising. What I would do is I would create digital advertisements. So like I would put together visuals, like graphics, just to make content and like social media content, like branding and all that only for the business of my group design, not really like helping others. So it was like helping the brand itself. And for my last internship, it was at a place called YR Media. And basically what I did there, that was more for photography uh, because I'm really interested in photography and videography. During my time there, I was able to like record videos with like other interns and like and collaborate to create these group projects and then all together we would show the audience. So those were the three internships I did during my time in high school. All right, I apologize. I had to move to a new building because the library I was just at was closing. But yeah, moving into my essays, I want to mention that throughout the UC application process, you have to choose four PIQs. PIQs just stands for personal insight questions. And so the four ones I chose out of the eight they provided <clears throat> so the first one I chose, <coughs> sorry, I'm really sick. Okay, so the first one I chose to answer was, what have you done to make your school or community a better place? The other PIQ I chose was, describe an example of your leadership experience in which you have positively influenced others, helped resolve disputes, or contributed to group efforts over time. And then the third one I chose was, what would you say is your greatest talent or skill, and how have you developed or demonstrated that talent over time? And then for the last one, I chose, Describe how you have taken advantage of a significant educational opportunity or work to overcome an educational barrier you have faced. And so <clears throat> I'll briefly go over what I talked about in each essay. Okay, so for the first one I wrote about, what have you done to make your school or community a better place? 
I decided to write about my entrepreneurship journey, just like how I mentioned before, I worked with the local barbershop business and how that helped me like create confidence so that I'm able to cold call people and just put myself out there. And then for the next one, describe an example of your leadership experience, blah, blah, blah. Basically, I talked about just the internship I did at My Group Design. And basically, I took on the role of being the host slash uh, producer of just like the whole masterclass live stream in general. So with that role, I was able to take on a lot of leadership. For the PIQ, what would you say is your greatest talent or skill and how have you demonstrated that? So for this PIQ, I decided to talk about my participation in the outdoor leadership club at my school and how organization really helped me throughout my life and just how it helped me develop problem solving skills in general. So I would say like organizing is the skill that I was like trying to like talk about. And then for the last PIQ answer, describe how you have taken advantage of a significant educational opportunity or work to overcome an educational barrier you faced. So my writing mentor I was working with at the time mentioned that I can use, I can talk about any experience or any skill that I think would be beneficial to talk about. And so actually I decided to talk about my photography passion. And so I was talking about throughout the story, like I had no experience with using a camera. Then I came across this video by a photographer on Instagram called Leo Films. And so what he does, he not only does photography, but also does like short videography clips. And that really like triggered me to start doing my own stuff on Instagram. So like taking photos and like making little films like him. After that, I started to like put in the hours and just like learn a lot of stuff on YouTube because there's a lot of free content on YouTube that you can learn from. But overall, those are the four PIQs I answered. Aside from essays, UCs will look at your grades, extracurriculars, and all that is still important, but essays are also really important because they want to get to know you, so. But I think that's everything that helped me get into UCLA, but if you guys have any further comments, make sure to drop it down in the comment section below, and I'll make sure to answer those. But in the meantime, I'm gonna end the video here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.